I mean, I did it, obviously. I think we've made a lot of progress here. I feel great. Good talk. Mmm. I'm proud of you. My new chicken sandwich is buttermilk battered and served on toasted brioche. Try it in spicy or classic. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Now at 11, a fast-moving fire damages three homes and sends residents running, over learning about the rush to escape and who's helping those who are left without a home. Last minute save. Who just stepped up to help save Maryland's National Philharmonic Orchestra? And how that's causing a shakeup in leadership. And back to school countdown. We're just hours away from some kids in the area going back to the classroom. We're gearing up with you. We'll show you who's helping you get school supplies on a budget. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Three people taken to the hospital and three townhomes damaged after a fire in Woodbridge. We first told you about this is breaking news on ABC 7 News at 6.30. Tonight, investigators looking into what started this. Our Tom Rousey first on the scene at this fire, and he's live in Woodbridge tonight. Tom. And Carl, Prince William County fire crews are still on the scene five hours after this fire began. It's believed to have started in the second town home from the right there, but it spread both to the left and it really spread to the right where the crews are mopping up, making sure it's completely out as we speak. I've lived here for 30 years, and it's the first time. Residents of Cambridge Square in Woodbridge say the fire burned so fast, it's a miracle everyone made it out. Oh, my gosh, yes. The way the... F it was just unreal. I've never seen a fire like... Or been close up to something like that before. The Prince William County Fire Department says its firefighters got the flames under control quickly, but the fire had moved so fast that two townhomes were already pretty much destroyed, and a third also had extensive damage. Neighbors say a woman living on the end was able to rescue her dogs. Two other people were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. One firefighter also had a minor injury. I immediately ran out, um, started banging on the doors. Michael Cruz says he tried to make sure no one nearby was still inside their home. My overall concern was life and safety, make sure that everybody made it out safe. The fire started just before 6 p.m. on Tillotson Place, which is right across the street from Ripon Middle School. The Red Cross came to offer help to those left without a home. As bad as this fire was, many here say the silver lining is everyone got out because there was not much time once it started. Life is just most, it's the most precious thing. Now, it's believed the fire started somewhere in that townhome. Neighbors say they were told it might have been a microwave that caused it. That's unconfirmed, however. The fire marshal was on scene investigating. The fire department only saying the cause is under investigation. We have learned eight adults were displaced from three townhomes. They all have to sleep somewhere else tonight. The Red Cross, as I mentioned, was on scene helping them out. Reporting live in Woodbridge, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Tom, thank you. Breaking news, Maryland's National Philharmonic saved thanks to donations. Of the donations that rolled in, $300,000 of that brought in by a member of the orchestra. Violinist Jim Kelly secured the money on the condition that he could assume leadership of the organization. Kelly also says it'll take on that job for free, which will save the orchestra thousands. The Philharmonic says a downturn in ticket sales and donations nearly caused it to shut down for good. Today marks two years since white supremacists set their sights on Charlottesville, and just hours before clashes between that group and counter-protesters turned violent. Heather Heyer was killed during that violence after a man drove his car into counter-protesters at the Unite the Right rally. Just last month, that man, James Fields, was sentenced to life in prison plus 419 years. Senator Tim Kaine released a statement about the commemoration, which reads in part, when you come face to face with violent racism, you can't downplay the threat. We have to confront it. He continues, I'm proud of how so many Virginians have stood up against racism these past two years. An escaped inmate suspected of killing a prison official is back behind bars tonight. Thanks in part to a family who alerted video police to this surveillance video. It shows Curtis Ray Watson raiding a refrigerator outside of their home. And tonight, residents in that area say they are relieved, including Watson's own daughter. This has always been a childhood nightmare of mine, that he was going to come out and 